Okay, first up, we have the, again, let me read this off to you, the 7-inch iRobot A-pad, iPad, E-pad, G dot dot D tablet, Wi-Fi, touchscreen, uh, MID, I don't know why I said WID in the other review, uh, yeah, not a good day. Anyway, so, again, it has the nice iPad photo in the front, everything Photoshopped inside with Android, uh, so let's see what we actually get inside of this box. Okay, so... Nice piece of foam. And here's the device. It really smells like chemicals in this thing. Uh, so let's see here. Nicely wrapped. And again, here's some nice uh, shrink wrap on it. It actually does kind of look like a small iPad, um, to be honest with you. Uh, it actually has a nice feel to it. The plastic in the back really does look like it, too. So that's kind of neat. Um, but definitely better than the first gen stuff I was uh, messing around with last year. It's got this foil stuff on the screen here. We can even get that off. There we go. The screen's pretty reflective. Looks kind of questionable, kind of cheesy. You know, overall looks decent. Um, you know, for what you know, what do you expect? The most interesting part is the, uh, you know, the wannabe iPad you know, the menu option button here uh, is not even centered. The square isn't even centered on there, so you can just tell the manufacturing quality of this device is pretty low out of the box, but if your expectations aren't too high, this might work out for you, but we'll find out. Um, it actually looks like there's a camera in the front, too. Uh, so that's kind of neat, interesting. And it sounds like it looks like maybe a mic. We'll see if this stuff actually works, who knows. Uh, menu button, uh, volume rocker right here. On the bottom we have our main ports, it looks like two speaker ports right here. And we've got uh, the power plug, headphone jack, and this looks like the uh, USB power jack right here. And then a micro USB slot here for ex uh, storage expansion, so that's pretty good. Uh, the on-off switch is on the top, so um, let's see what else is in the box first before we move on. Get the user manual. Again, this, quite honestly, this looks very, very familiar. This looks like it's almost out of the, uh, the same factory, which it probably is, uh, same company that designed the, uh, the first generation. Here's the power plug. And now this is interesting here. This is, this plugs into the bottom of the device. It's like a USB, so you have two USB ports on there and an Ethernet port. So this is pretty fascinating. So this goes in like that and I don't know, are you going to use a mouse, a USB stick, Ethernet port? I have no idea how well this stuff is going to work. It should be quite exciting. So let's take a look at what happens when you fire it up.